Hello, I am Torstein from Cinema Terror, and what do you know, we have a new Hellraiser movie on our hands. Here is my review of the 10th movie in the franchise, Hellraiser Judgment. The Hellraiser franchise has had quite the rocky ride over the years. Ever since a troubled fourth entry to the saga, Bloodline from 1996, the movies have been made simply for Dimension Films to keep the rights to the franchise. It's basically been movie after movie, done on unrelated horror scripts, with Pinhead popping up in a few scenes so they could slap the Hellraiser name on it. The last one, Hellraiser Revelations, came out in 2011, and wow was it a terrible one. After that I thought there would be no other way for Pinhead to return unless they were to reboot the franchise, but I guess I was wrong. Hellraiser Judgment was originally supposed to come out last year, but after being delayed, it was finally released on video demand platforms now on February 13th. In Judgment, we follow the two detectives and brothers, Sean and David. Sean, played by Damon Carney, is the older of the two, and he's the cliché, rough, alcoholic type of cop. The main story of the film revolves around him, while he and his partner are on the hunt for a clever serial killer that they nickname The Preceptor. And that's all I want to say about the plot of the film, as it's not easy to give a better description without going into spoiler territory, which I will try to avoid there as this is a fresh new film. What I will say is that I found the story here to be a bit unengaging. I did not care about any of the characters and found nearly all of them to be dull. The film basically has three parts to it. One is with the detective on the hunt for the serial killer. The second is the yellow looking torture place where a new character named the Auditor is interviewing sinners as the first act in them receiving the judgement for their evil deeds. The third is a bluish one where Pinhead sits for most of the movie, only to be interrupted a few times where you have to get up and actually do stuff. I can appreciate the idea of different color schemes, and I'm sure that some will like the way it looks, but I especially found the purposely ugly yellow look to be just… ugly. It looked like something from 10 years ago in the Saw Hostile era. It is a good example of the movie as a whole, as there are ideas here, but they're just not executed good enough. It also feels like they stared away from some obvious chances to get gory. They had no trouble getting blood in other places of the film, so I'm gonna guess that the budget just did not stretch enough for complicated gore effects. I will put some of the blame for this on Dimension Films, who are just not putting enough resources behind these projects, making it hard for the filmmakers to make the story they are telling come to life. This is the Hellraiser world, it's not exactly something that can be done easily on a shoestring budget. The guy who still wanted to take on this nearly impossible task was Gary J. Tunnicliffe. He has been working on makeup and special effects for years, and he has worked on the Hellraiser franchise since the fourth one, Bloodline, so he's obviously attached to the world of Pinhead. He has also been vocal about his dismay of how Hellraiser Revelation turned out, which is credited as a screenwriter on. So Judgment was his opportunity to make things right. He wrote the script, directed, did the special effects, and also acted in it as the auditor. That's a lot of hats to fill, and even if I didn't care much for the film, I gotta applaud this drive to get this movie made. Speaking of the auditor character, he is the best part of the film. This is the beginning of a process, an interview, an audit of sorts. And you want honest answers? Absolutely. So then let's just get on with it. <laughs> Ten for fugitive after all. Tell me. When was the first time you heard something? I enjoyed this new Cenobite like creature. He's not just an evil demon, but has some characteristics to him. I would actually have preferred it if the film was just about him, instead of forcing Pinhead into the mix. And speaking of which, this time he's portrayed by actor Paul T. Taylor, the 39th to play Pinhead after the iconic Doug Bradley played him in the first 8 films before leaving the role open for Stefan Smith Collins to step in on Hellraiser Revelations. The change of actor for Pinhead got a lot of criticism from the fans, as many of them would rather have them to focus on other Cenobites instead of giving us a different Pinhead. It didn't help that Collins didn't come close to looking or feeling like the same Pinhead that Bradley had given life to either. When it comes to our new guy in Judgment, I will say that it looks more like Bradley's Pinhead. There's no need to go after him. 
he'll be back. Although this version feels a bit more sarcastic and bored. Not bored as in bored with the movie, but that Pinhead had grown tired of humans trying to test him and disrespect his authority. I did not mind this new Pinhead, although he was also underwhelming. The voice was a bit off a few times, and I would again much rather prefer to spend screen time with the new character, The Auditor. There are also some small cameos, with filmmaker John Gulliger showing up as an uncreative weird disgusting guy called The Assessor, and Heather Langenkamp from Nightmare on Elm Street fame as a cameo that you will miss if you look away for the few seconds she's on screen. While I did not care much for Hellraiser Judgment, I will say that I will not be surprised if diehard Hellraiser fans finds this to be an improvement over the later entries. They do attempt to do something with the original mythology, and while I didn't care much for it, at least it feels connected to Hellraiser, and for that alone it will spark some interest and enjoyment from the fans. Hellraiser Judgment is not a good film, and I doubt they will do much for the franchise, except keep it in Dimension Films hands for a few more years. By this point I would much rather see a remake of the franchise instead of a continuation of these low budget Dimension films. There are some stuff to find interesting in Judgment, but it is not to warrant a good score for the film. Hellraiser Judgment only gets a 1.5 out of 5. Have you seen Hellraiser Judgment yet or have you given up on the franchise by this point? Do you want to see more of these films, a remake, or just for them to let Pinhead rest and go on to enjoy his participation in comic books instead? Let me know about it in the comment section below, and if you enjoyed this review then there are plenty more to be found on my channel. Thank you for watching.